Uh, Tommy, can I get you to come on up here for a second, please? Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Tommy Chung. So what was it, about 50 years ago you got exiled by the then mayor, uh, Don McKay? Why don't you tell us a little bit about that, okay? Uh, he told us to fuck off and we fucked up. <laughs> Basically. You know, he said, you got to get out of here. You know, we're going to have uh, Christmas here. We don't want you guys playing that, that devil's music, that rock and roll. And it incites all these people to go to young girls' houses where they're babysitting and, and tell everybody, all their friends that it's a party. <laughs> <laughs> and 300 people would show up and steal the dad's liquor, Christmas liquor. And so, so uh, the uh, the police and the mayor asked us very kindly to, uh, to leave, and so we left, and um, now we're back. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to have you back, Tommy. Oh, we've got uh, a white hat down here, a special one for you. Let me just grab it. <laughs> Well, now we'll throw this one on you. I'm going to be on this side for the media. We'll throw this one on you and see how this one fits first of all. Okay, that one's, that one's maybe not the best fit, but that's a very historical hat. That's actually Don McKay's original hat. All right, yeah. good one. From 19, uh, 1960. Uh, you might want to fire it that one. <laughs> right on, Tommy. Okay, okay. We'll get the real thing. We'll get the real thing going here, Tommy. Okay. Is this Don's hat really? It is. It was uh, signed, signed by all the rodeo guys. Yeah. You have a small head, man. <laughs> right on. But we do have a Smith build for you, and I'm going to get the rest of your friends up here as well. Okay. okay. If I can get uh, Tommy Melton, Tommy, if you could come on up, please. Put your hands together for Tommy. <laughs> jump in here and uh, do the official oath for these gentlemen. If you want to put it on, so they're on the end there. You know, this great country of Canada is well defined by its pristine wilderness, friendly people, great artistic talent, and of course our wacky weather. And uh, no uh, city demonstrates that better, at least today, than Calgary. Calgary truly is the heart of the New West, and the heart of the New West is a place of spirit and cooperation, and a place where a business deal can still be done on the back of a cocktail napkin in a bar like Ranchman's. Right. Gentlemen, the uh, good citizens of Calgary, would like to present you with these these hats. These are a symbol of our enduring Western hospitality. They are uh, they're made by a company here in town called Smithville. We hope that you wear them with pride, fill them with memories while you're here, and come back and see us real soon. Okay, put your hands together for the four latest citizens in the great city of Calgary. And you know how we seal this, ladies and gentlemen. We seal it with a Yahoo on three. Ready? One. Two, three, yeah! Yahoo! Welcome to Calgary, gentlemen. Thank you. Now, Dick, do you want to say a few words? Well, I just can I walk up. He's going to walk up to the mic. Here's the he walk we're looking for. Do it like the Duke. Yeah, here it is. Do it like the Duke. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you what, Pilgrim. <laughs> told you guys to ride him. And here's to Mr. McKay. I knew that man. And he was a stand-up comedian, just like Tommy Chong is. <laughs> Wall Pilgrim, here's to you. Thank you so much. Go Riders! Go Riders! Right here, sir. Yeah, there you go. Right on. Like a police lawyer. 
Calgary. It is a good city with a lot of great memories. Have a great reunion. Bernie Smee. 